Okay, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about growth and decay models. Um, first of all, I want to just review exponential function models that we have looked at before. We know that if you have a template y is equal to um, a times b to the x, if b is a number that is greater than 1, we know it is a graph of growth. Um, we know that if b is a number that is between 0 and 1, or it's a fraction less than 1, um, we know that it is a model of decay. So these two models should come as no surprise as we look at them. First of all, a can be any amount, um, the initial amount in this case, before measuring the growth and decay. So like uh, principle in the previous um, video, it's what you start with. Um, R is the rate again, um, and we are going to convert that over to a decimal. And X is the number of time intervals. Now sometimes X happens to be a T to represent the time. But in this case, we'll just leave it as X because it favors this template model. Again, as we look at the growth factor of this, the plus shows that B or this value right here is greater than 1. And in like manner, decay, same thing if you start with the initial amount. And um, the minus R shows that this number here, or the value of B, is going to be uh, a fraction that is going to be less than 1 and, and greater than 0. So let's take a look at a few examples of this. Um, First of all, in this example, let's read it together. It says, a tree three feet tall grows 8% each year. How tall will the tree be at the end of 14 years? Um, OK, well, let's circle some, some important information. First of all, the tree started out as three feet tall. That's going to be important. This is our rate. And the time factor is 14 years. So looking at this, we can see that this tree is obviously growing. So we will use the model for growth. So if I just write down that template, y is equal to a times 1 plus r raised to the x power, then I will just substitute in the numbers. Now what I'm looking for is how tall the tree will be at the end of 14 years. That's the value of y. The initial height of this tree is 3. And the rate that it grows each year is 8%. I'm going to convert that to a decimal. And then time is 14. Again, just like the previous video, we don't want to distribute this 3 inside the parentheses. We do want to take the 1.08 to the 14th power first and then multiply it by 3. And as a result of this, we should get 8.81 feet. This is how tall the tree will be after 14 years. OK, another example. We have a house. And most houses do appreciate in value. Um, so as we look at this uh, problem, we're going to see that we have a starting value of $126,000. And this does appreciate at 2%. And we want to know what the, the um, house will be worth in 10 years. So once again, we're going to use a growth template. And that's going to give us this formula. And then we're going to substitute in those values. Again, the initial amount is 126000 And the interest rate is 2%. I'm going to convert that to a decimal and raise this up to the tenth power. And as a result of this, we should get, and you should put this into your calculator to make sure you, you can get these amounts, $153,000, actually $153,593.30. And, and again, that's not too bad of a deal if you look at this, at how it's uh, appreciating in 10 years. And finally, let's take a look at one that uh, we lose some value to. We have a motorcycle, and we know that vehicles generally lose their values over time. So again, this will be the keywords here 
we started with nine thousand dollars it's six thousand dollars less each year so that is a key point there and that does tell us that it is depreciation so we're going to use the um, decay model which this time will be one minus r raised to the x power and again the initial or the starting value is nine thousand and we're going to be subtracting six percent and we're going to raise that to the fifth power and as a result again what you want to do is you want to make sure that you subtract that first you want to raise this to the fifth power and then multiply by nine thousand and what you should get is six thousand six hundred five dollars and thirteen cents and that concludes this video remember in the future there are several variables here and in the, each of these three examples why was the value that was missing you may wind up in the future getting being given the value of y and asking to be fi to find a or one of these other variables so just make sure that you just understand that you're going to be plugging it into the same formula and solving it like a regular equation alrighty that ends this video